Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another command block video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys top 20 commands. Well, in today's video, this is part one. This is going to be a top 10. I'm joined by my dude, Bray10, right here. If you guys want to see his video on this, he is making a video. Link will be in the description. And his YouTube will be on screen right now. Go check him out. These are his commands that he made. We made this little, you know, little video idea. We're going to do a top 20 commands. This is kind of like my other 1K sub special video because, you know, a lot of people suggested a... Uh, top 20 commands for kit pvp and i couldn't do that alone so you know i hit hit this man up and he was down for it so yeah so yeah we got 10 commands from my row i did make all these commands right here um actually no i didn't he actually made that one right there and he did help me with the particles and then you got his 10 right there i'm not going to show you guys those yet um i'm going to be making a video on that pretty soon that's going to be up that'll be part two all right so the first command is a custom rank and i'm pretty sure he's putting custom rank over me right now um, so yeah, this one you're only going to need like four commands right here. Um, you guys can type all these in chat also. These do not have to be in command blocks. Uh, the first one is an add objective. Um, you guys should know what this is. I mean, if, if you're not new to the commands, you, you guys should know how to do this. Um, it's not too hard. It's just an add objective, scoreboard, um, objectives add dummy, or owner dummy, and then you guys can make it colored and all that with just the swiggly line L and then the swiggly line 4 like that um, so that's going to add the objective owner um, and then the set player is scoreboard player set and then the Bray which is him right here um, if I go in and add this and click set player you guys can see that he now has owner in his name hey um, and the set display is uh, scoreboard objective set display sidebar uh, not sidebar below name owner that's going to uh, set it below name he actually already clicked that and then to remove it, you just um, type in a remove scoreboard objectives, remove owner. I just need to see if I click that or it removes it. Alright, so the next command is a time played. Um, I did not make this. He actually made that. And as you can see, we actually have a scoreboard um, like scroll through. It actually like goes through all the scoreboards that we made. That is on his um, commands right there. Yeah, so what you're going to do is you're going to set up four repeating command blocks like this put two chain blocks on I don't think it's is it gonna scroll through um if I do go into set display hours played you guys do see that we do have four hours played and that is accurate we have played four hours on this world um so like I said going to place four repeating command blocks like this and in the first one it's repeat always active don't mess with anything in there this is scoreboard players add at all hour played zero and the next one is repeat always active scoreboard players add at all sec played one which is you know stands for seconds played obviously um <clears throat> and then the third one is repeat always active and then here it is I, I honestly don't know it this means like i said bray over here made this one for me i was having troubles um but it's execute at all scores and then like a sad face sec played and then equal 60 with another like weird looking face kind of thing scoreboard players add at self minutes played one and then the next one is i'm guessing for the hours played yeah and the next one is repeat always active execute at all basically all the same but minutes played instead of seconds for in here as you guys can see this one is second 60 which equals you know a minute and then 60 minutes equals an hour scoreboard players add at self hour played one so you guys can see how this works um and then these two chain blocks up here the first one right here is execute at all scores uh, the sad face, second played 60, scoreboard players set, at self, sync played 0. Um, I'm not really sure what all these are doing. And in here, uh, if I didn't say that already, this is a uh, chain, unconditional, always active. And then the second one is, I believe, the same thing, but it's for minutes played instead of um, seconds. So just change around the sec and the minute inside of these two. And you guys should be good, and then just go in and set up a scoreboard. And to do that, you guys just want to type in your chat, scoreboard objectives, add hour played. That's going to add it, and it said syntax error because I already had it. And then set the display sidebar, and as you guys can see, it will show our hours, and we have four hours. I just don't believe that the hours played is actually in, like, the, uh, the scroller, so I, I don't, I think that's why that's not working. Alright, so the third one right here, we got a ban player command. This one's actually pretty sick. If I can find the, uh, original YouTuber that actually made this. I did not make this, um, I'll post it down in the uh, description also. But this one's pretty simple, um, it actually is really effective also. I'm going to show you guys how it works, so if I go in and click on this, click Always Active, 
I run over here and say that like somebody throws this little bam thing on top of me. Okay, I'm going to walk on it, and it's going to TP me to here, and it's not going to... I can't move, okay? And it says you were banned, and imagine if this person was like in survival or something. They don't have operators, so they can't get out of this. But to get out of it... Yeah, so to get out of it, um, what you want to do is say if I go in and get banned. So I'm banned now. Uh, you want to type in chat, TP, swiggly line 5, and then uh, swiggly line, swiggly line. And that is going to TP you five blocks away from it. So yeah, you can get out of it if you are um, operator or if you do have operator commands. Um, which is, you know, I mean, your ops, I mean, you're not supposed to be banned, eh? What you're gonna do is you're gonna find wherever you guys want the player to be TP, like up in the sky or like a little box or something on your server, um, and put a repeating command block just in the middle of it right here. Next, what you wanna do is you wanna put down a repeating command block just like this with a comparator and then a redstone repeater, and make sure that this repeater is on the very last delay, because if it's not, it will not work. And then you wanna put down an impulse block, and then a uh, chain command block just like that and also for all of these like ones like this make sure that your arrows are pointing the same way as mine or else they will not work um yeah so in here the first one is repeat unconditional always active nothing down there and this is test for at entity type equals item name equals ban which is just testing for the like little bamboo stick that said ban on it um and then if it is tested, it is going to um, activate this one, which is execute at entity type equals item name ban, which is, you know, the bamboo stick. And it is going to TP at entity radius equals 2. And then those last coordinates right there are the coordinates of your repeating command block that's over here in this, like, little um, bedrock box. Or wherever, you know, they're getting banned to. And then the last one is kill at entity type equals item name ban, which just kills, like, you know, the little little band stick and this is chain conditional and always active pretty simple that one actually works pretty good and it's really small you know you can really you know make people pretty salty doing that not gonna lie it's um it's pretty good man that works pretty well it's like raise over there like two commands in front of me uh so i think we're on the fourth one now yep so this is a fourth one this is a welcome message uh pretty simple a lot of you guys probably know what this is it's only a one block command pretty easy so basically Say that somebody spawns a spawn point in your server or whatever, um, you know, they spawn down like a tube or something. And as you can see, it will say welcome at self. Or, you know, at the player, and it will say their name on screen. You guys can make this, you know, any color, fancy colors or whatever. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to place down like your little block, and then a pressure plate on top of that block. That's the spawn point. Um, and then under that block, you want to put down a repeating command block that is pointing down. Make sure the arrow is pointing down. I'm, I'm pretty sure that matters. Um, and in here, it's pretty simple. It's title, at player, title. And then welcome. You guys can make this, you know, any color. And then at player. Pretty easy. You guys don't want to mess with any of these. It's just repeat. That's the only thing. Actually, you know, it doesn't have to be repeat. You guys can put this on impulse. And it will work the same way. As you guys can see, it shows welcome. So yeah, that's just a little welcome screen. Whenever somebody joins your server, you know, it says welcome to the server. Pretty simple. I actually had, like, some requests asking for that one. So that's why I put that in there. So the next one is a tell raw message. And this is going to say, like, as you, I don't know if you guys saw that. But it says server, subscribe to Meep is Beast, and subscribe to Brayem. Make sure you guys do that. Uh, yeah, so that's a tell raw message. And it's these three command blocks right here. Or six, I should say, because there is six. Um... So what you guys want to do is you guys want to put down a repeating command block and then make a space and then put two command blocks like this and make sure the second one is a uh, chain block. Uh, and in this repeating block, it's pointing up by the way, it's repeat, unconditional, always active. And this is set block, swiggly line, negative one, swiggly line, swiggly line, redstone, underscore block. And I actually, I actually think Bray actually helped me with this, so you know, big shout out to him for that. Um, and down here, the delay in ticks is 6,000, so every 6,000 ticks in Minecraft, which is like 5 minutes or so, um, it is going to place down a redstone block right there, which is going to activate this, and it's going to set block, swiggly line 1, swiggly line, swiggly line, air, which is just setting this block right here, the air deleting that redstone block, it actually just happened, you guys saw it. Um, and then the chain block is chain unconditional, always active, and this is a tell raw at all, and then the little... So I believe, what is that? That's this little thing right here. Um, this little guy. And then, um, apostrophes. I think that's what that is. <laughs> Raw text, and then, you know, these little things. 
quotation marks, I mean, that's what it is, and then a sad face kind of looking thing, text, and then, um, quotation marks with that little thing, and then the, uh, number for the color blue server, and then subscribe to Meepy's Beast, and for the other one, the Bray one, is the exact same thing, all these, you're just customizing the, um, the words that it says, hopefully that wasn't confusing for you guys, and that, like, all these little text and little emblems aren't too hard to, um, tell what those are. So yeah, that's the tell raw message. I think that was number five, so we got five more to go. I think this is the scoreboard command. Uh, these do not have to be in command blocks. These can be in chat, um, by the way. So the first one right here is the scoreboard objectives, and this is adding the objectives. You guys have seen them scrolling through the um, the screen like the whole video. Um, this is just the Kip EVP one. Uh, all those other ones, I believe, he made for his commands. You get it's on screen now, actually. Uh, so yeah, it's just stash, scoreboard, objectives, add, server, dummy, and then add the, like, the little name that you guys want to be on screen. Um, activate that or type that in your chat. And the second command that you guys want to type in chat, or you guys can put this in a command block, it really doesn't matter. Um, this is slash scoreboard, objective, set, display, sidebar, server, which is just this objective right here. As you guys can see, it's add, server, dummy. Um, so yeah, that's the set display, and that's going to actually set the display, and you guys should see, like, whatever, um... Uh, little text you guys typed in there on your uh, screen and then the next one these are just adding all kinds of things to the thing as you guys see I have by meep and bray top 20 kit pvp commands by the way hey okay. right, anyways um <clears throat> so yeah in here it's slash scoreboard players add um and then I just have those little lines right there it just puts lines on the scoreboard and then server one uh, which is just number one on the scoreboard and the next one you guys can just add um, like another one players add uh, put top 20 and then on server two make sure um, each one that you guys add is a different number as you can see it says one two three um, and then the next one is scoreboard players add by um, or whatever you guys want to put you guys can put like ranks or news or like rules or something and then server three pretty simple type in those in chat I should have a scoreboard for your server now so, um, clear lag right here is, uh, a little clear lag thing. I don't know if, um, you guys have this on your server. Most of these I actually have a video on, um, but those over there, those are going to be pretty special, you know, those are, those are going to be sick. Don't forget to hit the notifications bell so you guys get notified when that comes out. Anyways, um, in here, what you guys want to do is you guys want to put down four command blocks just like this, a repeat, and then three chain blocks above that. And in the first one, um, you guys want to put a repeat, unconditional, always active. Execute on first tick is disabled, and delay on ticks is 2500. That is important. Make sure you guys put that in there. And this is say, and then I just have the little swiggly line, and then, um, not swiggly line, double S thing. Four, and then that little double S thing, and then L to make it like this Minecraft kind of looking text. Um, that's just clearing items, say clearing items. As you guys can see, if you guys like see it right there, it says clearing items and you guys can put um this little hover note right here the server so that's what it says in chat by the way and then the next uh well this uh first chain block i should say is kill at entity and then type equals and then whatever you guys do not want it to kill you guys would put the little exclamation point and then player so it doesn't kill no players and then comma and then type equals exclamation point armor stand so it does not kill any armor stands and the next command block up is the exact same thing. Chain unconditional, always active. Delay in ticks is 30. Also for this one, it's delay in ticks is 30. And then the top one is just say items have been cleared. Server, you guys can put that as the hover note. Chain unconditional, always active. Delay in ticks is 10. So you know, that's going to get rid of all the lag and stuff on your server. Pretty useful for a kit PvP. Converter, um, this is actually really useful um, for a kit PvP or like really any server, uh, but mainly a kit PvP server. Um, so you so that you guys have like mobs or whatever in uh, your server and they can like kill them and stuff, like get their drops and stuff. This allows you to turn those drops with only two command blocks into money on your scoreboard, right? Pretty sick. Um, as you can see, I have zero right now on my money and this is um, like on the list, by the way. If you guys want to know how to do that. Uh, what you want to do is type in your chat scoreboard objectives add and then you guys want to type in money dummy and then you guys can like make it like any little like color or whatever you guys can type whatever you guys want your money to be um, set that as um, objective and then the next one you guys want to type in is scoreboard objectives 
set display, and then list. Okay. And that's going to um, set it display list on like the little start menu right there. So it's not like a scoreboard. You guys can have like a separate scoreboard and money. I, that took a while to explain. Um, but yeah, so if I grab bones, say that I have like some bones from like killing skeletons or whatever. And you come into this little converter, little, you know, house thing. You step on this pressure plate. It is going to remove those bones from my inventory. And as you guys can see, my money is going up. For every one bone, it equals five. It's pretty easy. Um, what you guys want to do is set up that little objective like I just showed you guys a minute ago and set it to display. It can be a sidebar, by the way. It doesn't have to be a list. Um, so, yeah, what you guys want to do is place a pressure plate on top of a block. And then under that, you guys want to put down two command blocks. Make sure the arrows are pointing down towards each other. And then the first one, it's repeat, unconditional, and needs redstone. Clear at player bone zero one, or if you guys wanted to clear more, you guys would type in zero sixty four, or you know one twenty or stuff, whatever. Um, but for mine, I think it was one. Yeah. Um, and then the next one is a chain block. It's chain conditional, always active. Slash scoreboard players add at player money five, which is easy. You know, it's only two command blocks. Um, you guys can make a whole bunch of these. You know, you can make it really customizable. So yeah, there's the money converter. Um, I think I think that's number eight. Yep, that's number eight. And then the next one is a custom enchant. Actually, I don't think I have this on my channel um, yet. So yeah, I actually uh, made this for you guys, just for you guys. I actually think I had a couple of people asking for a custom enchant. So here it is. Um, so as you can see, if I grab a sword, um, it is only going to work for me. By the way, um, whoever has the app player tag admin, and to um, to actually make that tag, what you guys want to do is type in um, chat tag and then you want to do at self and then you want to do add admin so just like that and I already have um, my tags already admin by the way so uh, it's already on there so that's why it said that so if I'm going to grab a sheep hopefully spawn protection isn't on and it is which was on for me for some reason so if I'll go in and grab this sword right here and I hold it in my hand and I kill the sheep you guys can see it is going to one tap them and I can one tap all these um, and I only think it only has strength one right now no, I have strength 10, yeah, so if I go in and get rid of this in my hand, it is going to take the strength away from me pretty fast, since it's only, um, one second. And if I hold it in my hand, it is going to give me strength 10, which is a one hit for, like, I think everything. So, uh, you guys really don't have to go any higher than that. And this is only two commands just like this, with a comparator in the middle. And the first one is enchant at player. And then tag equals admin unbreaking one and repeat unconditional always active and what you guys want to do to add that tag I think I already um, said this it's just tag at self add admin and then um, you guys can also add other people to that if you guys want them to have like this you know little OP custom enchant for like one tapping kids in your server and then the second one which is the last one repeat unconditional needs redstone and it's effect at player tag equals admin strength one second and then no yeah one second ten true which is going to give you strength 10 for one second if you're holding this uh piece of wood that can be enchanted with unbreaking so yeah that's the um ninth command that's the custom enchant that one's actually pretty useful for people that are you know annoying my personal favorite one which is the particles command right here big shout out to bray over there he actually helped me out with this um it's pretty cool man uh say that you know on your server somebody buys vip like a little vip rank so that they can get these particles right not everybody can get them um, so if I go and click that, it is going to add VIP to me and say I want the hearts one. As you guys can see, I now have hearts following me as like a little particle. And then I can take this off, right? So now it's off. And if I want the lava one, I can click the lava one. As you guys can see, now I have lava particles. And then um, the firework one, I'm not sure what this one looks like. That one's kind of cool looking. Yeah, I actually like that one. And then um, note. Yeah, so you know, I have like a little music note following you around. Um... You guys can obviously add like a whole bunch of these particles. Um, I do not know. I actually have a top 21 particles uh, video on my channel. Uh, link will be in, you know, at the end of this video. Hopefully, they hopefully, but I can do it myself. Anyways, um, what you guys want to do is you want to set up first of all this little VIP thing so they can buy it. Um, to do this, what you got if they're like adding a money system, uh, the first one you guys want to do is a scoreboard players uh, remove app player. 
uh, that amount of money and then it will um, activate this one which is actually you know this one right here uh, just in your you know it would be two command blocks like this and the next one would be a chain conditional and always active um, hopefully you guys know what I'm saying uh, it's basically like a shop kind of um, but instead of it giving the player the item it's tag at player add VIP um, yeah if you guys have any problems with that don't forget to leave the um, you know the problem down below I like to help you guys out as best as I can uh, and then these ones are just the um, on and off buttons right here so for the on one for the heart particle it is tag at player tag equals VIP and then tag equals um, the uh, like explanation point <laughs> heart and then add heart um, for the um, add one for the on particle and then the bottom one is tag at player tag it was VIP basically the exact same thing but remove heart um, pretty simple and then the next one is tag at player tag VIP lava add lava they're basically repetitive um, it's just you're adding different words in certain spots for spark and spark it's a uh, you know just change from lava to lava it's spark to spark and then um, heart and heart <laughs> And then the last one is just the note, uh, tag at player, tag with VIP, tag, explanation point, note, add note, which is just going to add the particle. And then for the bottom ones, it's the exact same thing as the top one. It's just remove note, not add note. And then these repeating ones uh, right here behind these ones, these ones are all pointing up. Make sure these are pointing up, by the way, and these ones are pointing this way. Um... The first one is repeat unconditional always active and for all of them it is repeat unconditional always active um, and then for the first one right here for the heart um, the delay in ticks is five this does matter the amount of ticks in here or will not work right so you guys know that and <clears throat> and here it's slash execute at all tag equals vip tag heart swiggle line swiggle line swiggling particle minecraft heart particle swiggle line swiggle line swiggling line and then the next one is repeat unconditional always active delay and ticks is three execute at all tag equals VIP tag equals lava particle minecraft lava particle swiggly line swiggly line next one is repeat unconditional always active delay and ticks is zero and this one's the exact same thing it's just a sparkler um, emitter I'm not gonna go through this you guys can just pause the video and the next one is repeat unconditional always active and you guys can just pause the video on this one for the note one. Alright guys, so yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this top 10 commands, but this actually is going to be a top 20. That is going to be a part 2. If you guys want to check out Bray's video of all these commands that I just showcased, you guys know, you see his point of view or whatever. You know, it's pretty cool. Uh, link will be in the description and it will also be on screen at the end of this video. It's not going to be on the, on the screen at this video, but link will be in the description. It will be the first link in the description. Make sure to go check him out. You know, subscribe to his channel, help him out. All the commands that we just went through was a custom ranks, and these are by order, all the ones that I'm doing. It was a custom ranks, and then a time played command, band players, a welcome message, particles command like custom particles, uh, clear lag, custom enchant, a tell raw message, you know, like telling whatever the server, you know, what you guys want to tell them. A money converter for, you know, items and stuff, and then a custom scoreboard that you guys see scrolling through the screen right now. Like I say in all my videos, if you guys have any problems with any of these, don't forget to leave your comment down below, and I will also join your world and see if I can figure it out, um, you know, from there. Anyways, till next time, guys, peace out.